messing up everything. <laughs> Only one man, Mundo You know, you ask yourself, now what's so special? Uh, well, we one day have a Tonga president, but certainly not the not the current aspirant. <laughs> not the current aspirant. But once we are going to come up politics somewhere, so we never pass an angle to Mona. And when I say I lost power, yes, we lost power in PF, but we didn't lose God. We didn't lose the love of Christ. We keep coming to churches, we keep congregating with our friends, and those of you who feel sick about it, please, I hope you find care. Ah. Ah. Alela nda tare bwere rapo na kabile are tu puma kuti mwasumina imwe kuti mwasumina limbe ava kuti vasumina kwanga loko kwanga loko ni masovera ayo eh ni masovera one time I was in Mkobeko, he put me in there. He must say thank you that I'm the president of the country. If I was to do what he did to me, he wouldn't even be going to church the way he was in church yesterday. Mushende <laughs> Ipusha. Avantu bala lava sa bwangu bwangu na bala bakale epo bale chitaba iche kwipa yabana Lawrence Banda putting a bullet in his head 11 hours pumping a bullet in a young man 22 years old ashia nabana Joseph Kaunda that bullet was meant for me and Joseph Kaunda took that bullet for me what do you think I think about that situation? Zambia! Zambia! A 22-year-old girl, Mappens Chibulo. We had a police permit and a bullet was put at the back of her head. That bullet was meant for me. So when Muntuale and that in the rapo, what does he think I am? What does he think you are? What does he think the children of Joseph Kaunda, Lawrence Banda, Mapen Zichibolo, Grezia Matapa, what does he think about those women who were thrown in a cell together with me? Nishi wuja ale tuntun kanya uro nishi. Ndebo nande. Because God gave me a big chest. God gave me a big chest. But that, not, that should not be misunderstood. God gave me a big chest. A big heart. My job is to correct the things that went wrong. My job is to ensure people stop fighting in this country. My job is to allow citizens to enjoy their freedoms, including him. Number that must not be misunderstood. To mean, in dollar there, a few days, I even forgot Chingola. Chingola, 10 days before elections, I go to Chingola. I was not allowed to to pass in Kitwe town there. They put a barrier there and gave me a, a sign to Chingola. He said HH is not allowed on the copper belt as though this is his country and town. I have a big chest, a big heart, I have big memory. That should not be misunderstood. I go to Chingola following morning we are going to church and discharge live ammunition at us there. We must not abuse each other in this country. 
Ndekutika. All the time I'm listening, I said, ah, these people. We say, Baleto Ntonkanya tatuwa kwa tamano. Ndeipusha. How can one aspire to come back and start killing more young people? I am protecting young people. Someone wants to come back and start killing the people. He didn't kill that time. Kwanga loko. Kutu mpa uko. Any message, any language, any action that is talking about taking the country where we came from before the election to Akan. I'm not supposed to say a lot, but I want to send a message to the people of Zambia that never misread colleagues. We were born and brought up differently. Some talk a lot, tick tock, tick tock, all the time, tuku tuku tuku, tiki tock, tuku tuku tuku. Those who are quiet, who are watching, does not mean they agree with the noise being made. We will not allow our country to go back into those dark days. Icona man. Icona. Icona man. God saved most of you. I'm not supposed to be alive my, myself. I'm, I should have died a long time ago. But God protected us. But in a way, a part of me died with Lawrence Bande, with Joseph Kaunda, with so many, some we didn't even get to know who was killed by who. A part of me is gone. A part of you is gone. Those are our family members. Those are citizens of Zambia. Where you will sit? So that you start killing more young people. I'm serious, I'm not joking. You have never heard me talk like that. Kutumpao. We will not be intimidated, we will fight corruption. If you store public money, the system will follow. That's the law. If the system is slow, you think it's not coming for you. They are planting information and stories so that we start fighting amongst ourselves. So that we will get a report. What do you mean? At the Ndola airport there, two or so days before the election, somebody stood there and said, I'm handing over power to myself. I'm handing over power to myself. And when I come back, I will lock up that chap, and this time he will die in prison. Now me, I'm seated here. You think you can come back and lock me up and kill me? Putum Pauko. Putum Pauko. Putum Pauko.